I feel like I get credit that I don't deserve. And it was a generous introduction from Danielle and so many others. But I always think it's you each and every day who are working with your students, who are starting clubs, who are creating signing days, who are thinking about college fairs, who are figuring out and advocating for a student to get into an AVID program because you know it will help them. You are on the front lines of this battle for the soul of the American student. And you know, when I come here, I can tell you what's happening at the national level. I can tell you how we've tried to motivate and engage leaders around the country to take on your issue. But ultimately, the task falls to you as leaders. And I had the opportunity before uh, coming here this afternoon to actually meet with the school counselor. I won't embarrass her by, by sharing her name, but uh, she said, you know, I followed you guys. I've been doing your work. Is it okay if we, is it okay if we, could we meet? And I said, sure. And she had set up an award, a Reach Higher Award for her students, and asked if I'd be willing to sign uh, some of those Reach Higher Awards. And, you know, I feel bad for the students to the extent that they'll see my bad handwriting, um, but it was a testament to the fact that this one counselor said, look, these students who come from a community where going to college isn't the expectation, getting a signed signature from someone from Washington, someone who is from far away who knows, you know, people of import, that will mean that much more to them, that, that those people care. And she talked to me about what she's done and how Reach Higher and Mrs. Obama's message has inspired her. And so now today, she changed the name of her college club to the Reach Higher Club. And now, because they can't afford to take school trips, is willing to get and help make sure that more uh, college admissions groups from, from colleges are bringing the college fairs to their students and is signing up for signing day and getting parents involved. And they've created little cards that are like business cards that are the Reach Higher cards that they can give out to parents and students. So if they have questions, they can find them online. They can find their cell phone. They can find them on Twitter. They can get them signed up. And it warms my heart because in many ways, I don't get to have that moment every day of seeing the great work that all of you are doing in school. So um, I'm grateful to have this opportunity to speak with each and every one of you to learn how you're taking our ideas and actually making them real and making them substantial in your own communities. And the story of that counselor, uh, because of the work that she's done around this, she reported that she's seen a 15% increase in college applications and college persistence. So you know, this, is, this is what just one counselor can do who's motivated. So the, again, you know, let me just sign off by saying that the work is going to go on, not just for the next four years or eight years, but for the rest of our lives. Uh, before I came on the stage this morning, a colleague of mine in DC sent me a report that had Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, guesses as to when we're gonna reach some of these goals around post-secondary success, and it had it by race and by income level. And you could read a report like that and potentially lose hope. <laughs> but the good news, and I am ultimately a Pollyanna, is that I think that whether it's trying to reduce the achievement gap for students of color, for dreamers, for low-income kids, whatever it may be, um, those reports that say we're not there yet and it's going to take some time, just convince me that much more that the work of school counselors is critical and that we need to be talking to each other more and more, sharing best practices, scaling what works, and actually the movement, and all of us have to be part of this movement together. We are the ones who are building this movement for post-secondary success, and it is on us, and when we beat those trajectories, when we see more students applying to college and finishing it with a terminal degree and getting a meaningful job in their lives, that's when we'll know the work is done, but it will be taking us some time. And so I encourage each and every one of you to go back to your schools and communities and realize that this cohort, this group, of, this cask, this group of leaders, each and every one of you has taken something unique and can bring it back to your school community and change the lives of young people in your community and you not have to accept the status quo for what you see before you and you can change those lives. So with that, let me see one other thing. I, I, I'd never been to Riverside, California before in my life uh, until two weeks ago when I came for the Racist Submit announcement here uh, in California, which is a great contest to help ensure we're gonna have more 100% FAFSA completion in the state of California. Let's give applause to that. And for the first time ever, um, I, 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 it was a group of students, it was not a group of counselors, but you know, let's be honest, they wanted to speak to Mrs. Obama and they knew I was the bald proxy of that. And so I said, you know, let's send her a message. So if you're game, I'd like to record a message for her. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah. 
All right, so and you'll, you'll tell that I'm a recovery middle school teacher at the end of the day. We're going to go left side of the room is going to say hi. Middle part of the room is going to say Mrs. And last part of the room is going to say Obama. Okay, we're going to practice, then we're going to do it. Sound good? All right. Hi. Hi. Mrs. Mrs. Obama. We're going to try one more time. Hi. Mrs. I want you guys to double whatever you were doing before, and I'm going to give us, we're going to do the countdown, okay? So, three, two, one. Hi! Hi. Hi. Alright, good job, everybody. Alright, have a great rest of your meeting. Thank you, everybody. God bless you guys.